Here are 11 home gym hacks in six minutes that you probably aren't using. Isn't this just for girls? Okay, first of all, hip thrusts are not just for girls, but look what else I figured out you can do with this little piece of genius. Sissy squats, split squats, seated calf raises, Nordic curls, preacher curls. So a tennis ball is such a good workout for your forearms, but it's even better when I do this. And do this, or this, or these, or this, and this, oh, and this. You get the idea here. Has this ever happened to you? Don't do assisted pull-ups like this. Do them wrapped around your J-hooks like this. Attach it to a belt to do belt squats. Are you tight on space in your home gym? Well, now you can do carries. Can't afford a pendulum squat machine? Now you don't need to. Would love to have the space for a cable machine? Well, it's not always needed. Don't look at me like that. I know you've been there too. Don't go and buy one of those overpriced barbell jacks. Just use this. Or this. Now you can do this. Ah, come on. Ah, you gotta be kidding me. Oh, it isn't even funny anymore. Let's face it, we've all done this numerous times, but this is one of the best things about owning a home gym, in my opinion. All you need is some electrical tape. Top tip, get different colors, so these match different exercises that you perform. While you're at it, use some of this tape to stick on your cheap J-hooks. That way you avoid metal on metal contact and keep them knurling on your barbell intact for years to come. Sure, squats are great, but Sometimes you want to do leg exercises that aren't such exhausting compound lifts. In a home gym, this isn't easy. Until you use your monkey feet. This simple bit of gear helps you to do those leg extensions and hamstring curls. So on those days you feel a little bit lazy, you can still get a good leg pump. Oh my goodness, I'm sure these have got more expensive and I'm not even sure where I'd put it. But worry not, as there are so many pulley systems now that you can get. You can even make them yourself if you want better quality materials. Little hack here is just to keep one up high and then there's one down low. You can quickly access a high pulley or a low pulley without having to keep moving them around all the time. Ah, why doesn't this fit like it was supposed to? Fear not, there are a ton of adapters that can make your small attachments fit into a bigger hole. <laughs> the Kaizen DIY Gym channel shows some really good adapters like this. One thing to be aware of though, rogue attachments fit into Titan or rep racks, but not the other way around. If that doesn't make any sense, just look at our epic power rack attachment compatibility guide. If the ones you're looking for are not on there, just let me know in the comments and we'll do the research, test it out and add it to the list. Got to set it up again. Oh, what did I do with that 20 kilogram? Where have I put my belt now? This hack is something that saves so much time. It makes it much easier getting into the workout quicker. And most people's goal is to get in and out efficiently. At the end of your session, make sure everything is in place for your next workout when you're cooling down and stretching. Combine this tip with using similar equipment for a session, then you're onto a winner. When you have to set something up mid-workout, it wastes a lot of time. All of the workouts on the Strong Home Gym site are focused around being efficient with equipment that most people have access to. If you watch any other home gym videos, I guarantee someone will say something like this. Buy this great wall storage device. However, I don't think enough people consider what they already have or what they could do for a significantly lower cost. Have you already got shelves? Can you screw in some hooks to the wall? Can you buy these $10 hooks to store your barbell instead of the $200 fancy gizmo you saw on a Facebook ad? 
Or have you got somewhere you can hang some S hooks or buy magnetic hooks? Use what you already have access to rather than buying something that looks good but isn't always needed. You can save that money to spend on gear using my affiliate links below. Rings are the most transportable equipment that I own, but I bet you've never used them to do this before. Game changer. At Strong Home Gym, we love to give you more. So here's a bonus 12th tip. Use two millimeter tape to stick on your whiteboard. So if you do make a mistake on your board, you can easily rub it out without the lines being removed. You're welcome. So now you know 12 quick home gym hacks that most people don't use. But what if you're considering building a home gym or you've got one already, but you're not super happy about it? Maybe you're worried it costs too much or it takes too much time to build a good one. Well, watch this video next where I try to build a new home gym in 24 hours for under $1,000. Or if I don't do it, have to give it away to someone else.